well actually I did already finish a video where I wanted to show you growing crystals of aluminum potassium sulfate and I was almost uh, ready to upload it and then I decided well actually there are more interesting specimens around so I decided not to upload it and now I'm here again in my in the park in the local park in the in town where I live and I'm looking for a water sample it's fall and yes uh, sooner or later um, it's gonna turn uh, it's gonna become cold and therefore I decided one of the last chances of actually looking uh, for uh, some water samples and some interesting microorganisms so we'll see whether I'm gonna be successful today well, and there was an interesting place that I found there, an interesting water container, and I wondered what it is. Um, this was an inverted glass jar, and if you look very carefully on the inside of the glass jar, there was, of course, uh, something growing, some algae. I wondered what this is, and I think it must have been uh, a place for bees uh, to, uh, yeah, to get water, to drink water. Somebody must have set it up for, for the bees. But yes, there was also a somewhat larger water fountain there, which you used to get the water out to water the flowers and uh, the water was relatively clear but luckily on the side there was some algae growing and that is actually the thing that you want to collect uh, usually there are not so many microorganisms in the free water body um, so you have to actually get some of the yeah the, the slimy stuff somewhere yeah, growing on the side um, because this is the place where microorganisms usually start to attach to and they grow there and that's actually the most interesting part back at home um, of course I took uh, I took a small sample of this uh, put it on the microscope slide cover glass goes on top and then I was actually kind of wondering what can I find and I was not disappointed to actually see that there were indeed um, a lot of algae and of course uh, also diatoms just gonna show this to you in a second when I'm finished preparing the slide usually do not need a very high magnification I always start off of course with a low magnification and here the those, this large thick thing that you see that is one of those um, algaes uh, that uh, I collected and uh, connected to, to it growing on it and also a little bit on the side those stick like structures well these are of course the diatoms they are quite well known because they have a shell made out of silica I have also seen the odd little ciliates swimming around but really there were not so many of them not surprisingly because usually when the water is moving and there was actually water running into the fountain and also out again this kind of washes away um, all of those uh, free floating ciliates so most microorganisms that you can find actually are attached uh, to surfaces um, and uh, those uh, diatoms of course uh, they were also happily growing there also partially attached uh, to the other algae and to the side um, of the fountain so right now I'm using uh, my dark field uh, to actually give you a slightly different impression dark field all you have to do is you have to insert um, a little patch stop filter then the algae the, the diatoms in this case they look bright on a dark background I consider this uh, particularly nice uh, to, to watch and to observe and those uh, there are all these uh, bright spots there well I think that these could be um, the amoeba but I'm gonna show you later some of those to actually show you that there is movement going on this is time-lapse under high magnification and look carefully into those diatoms you can actually see that there are cell organelles are moving around and I was lucky enough to also find so-called vorticella these are stalked ciliates two of them look what they're doing you might already guess uh, they can re re retract very rapidly um, when they touch something and then they extend again and on the head part they, are, they have the little tiny hair called the cilia and with that they're moving the water and the suspended particles that you can find in them bacteria and other debris well they are then sucked in and digested uh, by the vorticella so um, different uh, microorganisms of course have a different way to feed themselves and these are heterotrophs naturally this means they do not do photosynthesis but they actually have to eat organic material to get their energy in contrast uh, to the diatoms which actually are green um, and which do photosynthesis and also produce oxygen I consider those two particularly nice this one is a strange one um, I, I know the image quality is not quite the very best because it was covered with other things as well and um, I wonder what this could be the 
a little bit reminded me a little bit of a rotifer, um, but actually it does look a little bit different. Uh, and it was also able to contract and to expand. And it also had these cilia um, on the surface uh, to move the water and the suspended particles. And then again, when it touched something, it quickly retracted again, um, and then it uh, yeah extended again. So this is actually shows that living things do respond uh, to their environment. This here, that's an interesting one. That seems to be um, a testate amoeba. Um, it tests are the so-called the shells of certain amoeba. And if you look carefully, then you can actually see also those pseudopodia. These are the, the, the cytoplasm extensions that uh, yeah, stretch out um, of this central shell. And the amoeba uses that to catch food and also to move around. Um, so this is actually not in time lapse. This is uh, actually in real time right now. And uh, you can see very slightly those uh, pseudopodia, those uh, yeah, extensions um, of the cytoplasm. I tried now phase contrast um, as well to give you also a different view of uh, all of those specimens. And that's again the tested amoeba in, in phase contrast crawling along an algae here. Yeah, so. Uh, with different uh, microscopic techniques. This, of course, uh, expands uh, your horizons as well. And here again, the diatoms from before under phase contrast again. So many of many things to find. And I have to admit this, all of this was only on one slide. So I did not have to repeat the whole thing only on one slide and so many things to see and probably many more that I didn't show you. Well, I think uh, that's again enough for today. Um, please do consider subscribing if you liked uh, this video to support the channel. I hope uh, that uh, I'll see you around next time again. Happy micro hunting. Bye bye. See you around.